Welcome to In the Studio on Davis Media Access. I'm Tim Gaffney. Well, the Chicano Chicas Studies Department at UC Davis has long played an important role in the region by promoting community health and empowerment. TANA is one particular partnership dedicated to cultivating the cultural and artistic life of the Woodland community as a viable community building strategy. To tell us more about TANA, we have Jose Arenas with us today. He is the director of TANA. Jose received a BFA in painting from the San Francisco Art Institute and an MFA from UC Davis. His work has been exhibited throughout the United States, including locations in Chicago, Miami, and New York City. He has devoted the last 18 years to higher education, designing and teaching studio art courses at Foothill College in Los Altos, Parsons School of Design in New York City, and Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn. In addition to his responsibilities at Tana, he also teaches the Chicana Chicano Mural Workshop in the Department of Chicana Chicano Studies at UC Davis. Jose, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Tim. Great to be here. You bet. You bet. Well, could you start off by telling us a bit about the vision that the founders, Carlos Francisco Jackson and Malakias Montoya, uh, had for the center? Sure. Um, I have a close connection with Malakias and, um, and Carlos uh, because I did my MFA uh, back in 1998, um, so I worked directly with uh, Malakias as a TA uh, and also was um, uh, met Carlos Jackson when I was a student. He was a student also as an undergrad. So there's, um, there's a long history there, um, but Carlos and Malakias um, both worked in the um, Chicano, Chicano Studies Department and uh, really had a vision to create a space a taller or workshop um, that would bring people together and uh, really kind of model after the um, Chicanx movement where different kinds of um, artistic and community spaces um, developed all around the Southwest. Um, so it was really excellent to see that they had a vision locally. Um, also, it was an idea to move outside of the university. So it was really outward facing and uh, really serving the community. So that, that's kind of where that, that idea, that idea started. Um, and it took some, it took, it took quite a few years, you know, because they had to really lay the groundwork by getting buy-in from community members and identifying uh, um, different uh, um, community leaders um, and, and really kind of doing the groundwork to um, establish a location. And, uh... What was the intention with the name Tana, and especially so its workshop of the new dawn? Uh, what was the intention behind that new dawn there? Well, what I know is like Malik, yes, um, and this is something uh, I think they worked together on this was really thinking of the idea of 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 rebirth, of a new beginning, um, and uh, because they had this idea of placing this right in the community, what they were really excited about was. Um, reaching, you know, the Lat the Latinx community, um, and and um, again, kind of emulating those kinds of spaces where ideas could be shared, um, where um, um, there could be artistic expression, but also talking about some of the hard issues that were affecting people in the community. So I think that's where that kind of generated from. And so again. Taller Arte del Nuevo Manecer means um, workshop of the new dawn. So kind of a new beginning um, where people could come together and share ideas and really make change. You know, I mean, the idea is also that um, when we think of art as a way of um, communicating ideas, um, raising awareness, but also as a tool for a kind of call to action, right, to, to bring um, uh, bring about change. And so that was something that was very much in line with the um, with the components that were taught within the department at UC Davis and and actually are, I should say are taught presently because I um, I'm just so glad that I can both contribute as director of Tana out in the community out in Woodland, but also that I can be um, part of the faculty by teaching the the mural painting class and also um, when needed the the poster making um, component I, again within the um, 
um, Chicanx Studio, or the Chicanx Studies Department. Um, one of the things I'll just add to that is that what's really wonderful is the students that um, take the classes at UC Davis, what happens is they get that kind of foundation of understanding, um, you know, this kind of mission of um, using the poster as a way of, um, you know, making change, um, working with, with other community members. So they get to um, experience that by working at Tana. Um, so we have two interns this year um, working on a third, but essentially they get to kind of um, they get to really work with um, with woodland and area youth um, and, and really, you know, using it again as an empowering tool. Great, great. Well, I think you've alluded a, a little bit to uh, my next question, and, and that is if I could get you to talk a little bit about the four elements, what I understand to be the four elements of Tana. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, um, years back, um, we've been open for 12 years. Uh, myself, I jumped in um, coming back to Davis um, and working within the department and at Tana five years. But um, if you rewind 15 years, that's when I mentioned, you know, uh, Malakias and Carlos were really working with community leaders and members and just kind of you know, um, that vision kind of formed through many discussions with other um, community leaders, but also between Malakias and, and Carlos. So our main component is really, I would say, the workshop, which is a, a free silkscreen sessions that we offer anybody. If you, anybody who walks in, um, we provide um, all of the tools by having a fully functioning silkscreen studio where we can provide um, um, free studio classes. Um, they're a little bit more of a drop-in kind of um, um, system where it's not necessarily enrolling and going through, um, you know, a, a 10 weeks like you would in a college. It's really a kind of open session where um, because students can oftentimes have complicated schedules and may drop off and come back in, um, the training and the kind of idea is that our interns or staff our workshop coordinator, Eddie Lampkin, really work on, on kind of meeting the students at whatever level they're at um, so that they could really jump in, understand the process, and really be on their way um, to expressing um, their ideas and, and have that be part of a, 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 creative, a creative expression for them. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and then in addition to the classes, for example, and some of the other pieces you've mentioned, uh, uh, yeah. the space... Is, uh, is an exhibition space as well as a gallery uh, awesome. for shows? Yes, thank you. So that is, that's one main component that we have, and we have uh, various components, as you as you mentioned. Um, the space is is pretty much like, you know, kind of an open warehouse. On one end, we have a um, wall space where that's dedicated to doing exhibits. Um, so we have shows that highlight um, emerging, mid-career, professional um, Latinx artists. Um, and also for co-curating and working with collections that might come. So one example is um, that um, is uh, Consejo Gráfico Nacional, which is a consortium of Latinx print studios similar to ours. Um, one of which you might be familiar is Self Help Graphics down in Boyle Heights in Los Angeles. So, and that reminds me to uh, now Tanada is more than uh, a lot of things you've already talked about. I mean, it's also a venue for for other groups uh, to present the theater, dance, uh, poetry, and music. Is that correct? It sure is. We're always looking to collaborate with um, you know um, all kinds of local and um, organizations in the um, this um, this coming. Um, uh, example would be that um, we connected with a longtime band that's called um, Aslan Underground. They're going to be here on the 13th, just next week. Um, so we're we're working with uh, lots of different plans to bring in um, events that the community will find interesting. You know, last year um, we were really excited to um, to collaborate with um, Vacancy Arts Collective, um, Rob and Gia and um, and the team to bring Native Gardens a reading that you were involved with as well, which was very exciting. 
Um, and um, and uh, just, yeah, just on Sunday, we participated in IFEST, the International Festival, where we do pop-up live, live printing. So we not only try to do events that engage community within the space over at Tana, but also um, all around the region, you know. So as mentioned, we were in Davis last Sunday, um, and we're working to connect also with smaller Yolo County regions like Knight's Landing, where we're um, we're working with uh, with Knight La Knight's Landing um, community youth and the principal Maria Martinez of um, of SciTech uh, Elementary um, to create a mural um, where um, students and um, really actually Knight's Landing community can really participate together to create a vision of what they imagine the community is. Right. So I mean, just there's there's so many things here uh, that. It really seemed to go yeah. into this mission of, of building a community um, and empowering a community. And, and then one other very big event that I know you have coming up uh, towards the end of the month is the annual Dia de Muertos celebration. Can you say something more about that? That's right. That's right. I'm glad you mentioned that. You know, we, we actually start the season of Dia de Muertos um, in October. So last Saturday, we already initiated a a family workshop, which are Saturdays from 11 to 1. Um, our workshops for anybody to drop in are from 11 to 4. So it's a really nice way to kind of dovetail from um, families and their kids coming to um, participate in these kinds of crafts that are traditional, the other muertos kinds of uh, um, crafts like um, last week was decorating um, skulls and calaveras, which are, you know, an entire kind of skeleton that's done with paper. And uh, we print a whole bunch and kids get to, you know, color them in. We're excited about this Saturday, this coming Saturday. Ramona Garcia is an artist from the region who will be facilitating a Mexican doll making workshop. Um, and then that all of these kinds of events will lead up to our main event, main celebration, which will be October 29th, Saturday, October 29th, from five to eight, where we're going to have um, a, an exciting program that will include um, Woodlands Ballet Folklorico, um, UC Davis student-led um, Danzantes del Alma that do traditional uh, Mexican dance. Um, and then we'll also have um, Calpulli Tlayolo, which is a local... Um, amazing Aztec Danza group um, that will be doing a blessing. Um, so it's really, uh, it's really, um, you know, one of our biggest fall events where we bring together um, people, community, families to really, um, you know, celebrate those that we've lost, right? Those loved ones that we've lost. Um, and so, so it'll really be, um, I think, a, an exciting event and just putting it out there for everybody to check out our website um, and, um, and see what we do. That's great. And, and do these require any sort of pre-registration or tickets or can one just show up for the events, either the family events on the Saturdays or the main event on the 29th? You know, we're lucky that we're an extension as an organization. We're an extension of UC Davis and uh, the um, Chicanex Studies Department. So we're funded um, through the department, which means that, you know, what we get to do is really be outward facing and provide these kinds of events at no cost. Um, so the other Muertos will be uh, um, completely free, just like all of our upcoming events. Um, and uh, you know, one one of those highlights is that, um, well, at least for the other muertos, um, you know, um, we are encouraging, uh, you know, community members that might want to participate in making an altar um, to reach out to us um, and uh, be part of this wonderful event. So yes, um, that's that's fantastic. Well, so. I guess just to remind everybody that, that Tana's annual Dia de Muertos celebration is Saturday, October 29th from 5 to 8, but there are also a series of family events uh, leading up to that on the, the Saturdays leading up to that. And this is at Tana's facility at 1224 Lemon Avenue in Woodland. Um, well, just before we go, Jose, I wanted to say one more thing. You have behind you some beautiful artwork. And I know, as I mentioned up front, you... Uh, work on the uh, the mural workshop, and that's a, a, a the department, and that's a big part of 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 Tana's work. So I hope maybe we could have you back in the future uh, and have uh, talked directly to Jose about your own work um, 
uh, after having spoken with you about the work of Tana more generally. So I hope we can uh, have you back in the future. Hey, thanks for the invitation. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I feel I feel very lucky that I get to um, practice my own, um, you know, art making as a painter, uh, and collaborate with people doing projects that are mural related, poster related, and, and just in general, really to kind of share that excitement towards like you know self expression, using art as a vehicle for change. So it's wonderful. Great. Well, again, Jose, thank you so much for joining us today, and. Thank you to our viewers out there for joining us here, for tuning in to In the Studio. Uh, again, I am your host, Tim Gaffney, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.